Welcome back. Well, winter can be an inconvenient time of the year to sell a house, but there are a few upsides. We'll list a few of those and give you a few insider secrets to make your place shine during the cold and messy season. Rachel Schwab is with the Equitable Bank, and she is here with more on this. Great yeah. to see you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you know, the, the wisdom is always winter's the worst time in the world to sell your house. Um, you know, avoid it because people are tracking in mm -hmm. snow mm -hmm. and dirt and all of those kinds of things. But the thing you always tell us, and I think this is really important for people to know, is inventory is very low yeah so right you're now not it, competing with as many yes. people just in general inventory is low and there's a lot of buyers on the market but winter is really a lower season anyway but especially with the way the market is today if you are thinking about buying or buying and selling uh, now is the time to put your house on the market okay um, and, and winter is, is not necessarily a bad time people have to move all year all round. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So there's lots of little things that you say you can do to make it more, you know, appealing to people. And one of the first ones is keep it well lit. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, you put your for sale sign out on your mm -hmm. front lawn, good first step. But if your house is all dark and you don't have any lights on, uh, no one's going to see it in the winter months because it's darker longer or earlier. Yeah. So make sure that you have your porch lights on. I would keep some interior lights, especially for the front of the house. You know, if you have a living room in the front or whatever, keep those lights on so that when people are driving by, they can actually find which house is for sale. Yeah, they visually see you. Right. It, you it know, looks so cozy. It too. does. You want to move mm -hmm. into a house that's well lighted. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree with yep. that. Pathways and driveways. Um, it, it's 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 important to keep them clear so, yeah. so that people feel like they can just walk right in, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it seems kind of obvious, but you want to make sure that you're doing a good job of shoveling snow and keeping ice um, away, you know, throwing some salt down. Um, it looks nicer, and, you know, you don't want people to be slipping and falling uh, as they're trying to come and see you. Yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? You know, another thing, um, keep your windows clean. I don't know if I would have thought of that yeah. one. Yeah, and, you know, um, for some reason, and I noticed it in my own house, too, the winter sun it seems to show every uh, smear. Yeah. About like your car yeah, when you get oh, in, yeah. in the windows. The, you know, the windows are dirty, and you want your house, house to sparkle. Mm -hmm. So make sure those windows are nice and, and shiny. Plus, you want to have as much natural light as possible. Too. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I, especially, I especially think the front door, especially if you've got full view yes. glass. And I, my kids are older, and I'm like, how do we have so many I keep saying, fingerprints? Who's sticking their face against the door? <laughs> yes. And all their hands all yeah, over. Are we old enough? I actually come over to your house, and I put sticky fingers all over your house. Are you at my house, windows. too? Because someone's am. doing it at my it's house, like too. the greatest thing. I don't egg houses anymore. I just put <laughs> fingerprints all over. And <laughs> lipstick <laughs> marks. Yeah. Um, curb appeal. I like this idea. I think even if you're not selling your house, but you just kind of want to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Updated it's or something, have it yeah, fresh. I do even in the winter too. Use container gardens with colorful branches or cut evergreens. Yeah, it, you know, that's brilliant. It Easy. is, and you know, we do that kind of stuff in the summer to make our house look pretty. And the winter is so blah, and you know, once yeah. the Christmas season is over and we don't have our, our Christmas lights on, you want to have something a little bit, you know, pretty and, and nice looking. So maybe a, a nice little bench or uh, chair on the front porch, and then have yes, use your container gardens for something that is a little bit wintry, but will bring some color and prettiness to your house. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I think that's a great tip. Um, another one you say is make sure that your entryway is clean of salt and dirty boots. and. Yeah, so we've talked about clean windows, clean yes. driveway, <laughs> clean entryway. So that's, the, that's the theme here, right? right? Is Winter is so messy and so dirty, so make sure that everything is clean. And that entryway, that's the, where people are going to come in. So make sure that the floor doesn't have salt stains and the carpets mm -hmm. are clean. This goes to the point, too, of like having lights on in the house, but you say make the house look and feel cozy. And and I think that that's key too. Yes, you know, I mean, you're all bundled up and you're cold and you walk into this house that you're going to look at and maybe buy and it's cold and it's dimly lit and, you know, mm -hmm. it's you're not going to feel, you know, like this is, oh, I feel cozy, I want to be here. So make sure that the heat is on to a good temperature. P people will be distracted if they're cold. They'll just yeah. want to be getting out of there. They're yeah. not going to be able to focus. Um, so is make there sure, any guide that yeah, you Yeah, like an say, ideal like, number? Above um, 68. Yeah, I would say, that I would say <laughs> for me, yeah, 75. 80. I'm always cold, but no, that would probably be too warm. But yeah, I would say probably 68, 70. Just keep it so that it's a comfortable temperature. And then make your house look cozy. Put a nice throw over a chair and have some cozy pillows. And if you had a little area that could be a reading nook, maybe highlight that. And, mm -hmm. You know, you want people to feel like, oh, I came in and I feel so cozy. I could envision myself, you know, crawling up in this little corner here with a book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's what, you know, whenever comes to decorating. I mean, that mm -hmm. picture and everything, clearly a very beautiful home. Yeah. But it's like you want something that looks functional and used, mm -hmm. not just stale and staged either. Yeah, you don't want it to look staged. You want it to feel cozy. So it mm -hmm. shouldn't look like you're in a museum, um, but you also don't want it to be cluttered and messy. But yeah. have it be cozy. And if you have a fireplace, um, I would say not a wood burning one just because of the smell. Mm -hmm. But if you have a, um, an electric fireplace and you can flip that on right before 
uh, people come through. I mean, it's another way to cozy up your house. Yeah, yeah for sure. So true. demand high, inventory low. What about rates right now? Oh, rates are so low, you guys. Every time I come in, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, the rates, eventually they're going to go higher. They are actually lower than they were last time I was here. They're at 3.52 for a 30-year fixed rate. Okay. Whoa. So, I mean, that's generally the loan that people uh, get when they buy um, mm -hmm. their house is 30 years. So that is incredibly low. Yeah. So if you are looking to buy, I would really, really encourage people to get out there, get pre-approved, call Equitable. We'll get you pre-approved right away, um, and then you can uh, work with your realtor and find yourself a new home. Well, and I feel like for so long there was a push to kind of get into like smaller apartments and condos, and mm -hmm. now it's going back to housing. Yeah. You know, and people are really pushing to go back towards owning their own Well, homes. and you know, the housing market has really stabilized. and. Mm -hmm. and, and for the whole country, Milwaukee was still a pretty stable market even when yeah. we had the downturn. But now it's really stable. It's really strong. There are a lot of first-time home buyers out there. Um, so if you're looking to maybe upgrade your house and move up and want to put your house in the market, I have no doubt that um, you'll sell your house. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Right, Here's Rachel. the information so you can do it. Rachel just said, which is get pre-approved. Talk about a loan that works for you. Check on the rates because they're incredibly low right now. 414-777-44. 11theequitablebank.com.